dear sisters and brothers in Christ. The first Sunday of Lent traditionally comes to us as a strong reminder of the real danger of power and wealth, and at the same time, an urgent call for fighting the evil temptation in order for us not to become victims of sinful greed and pride. The gospel story tells us how our Lord Jesus fought and won the battle for faithfulness to God. He always clung to the Word of God as the most powerful and efficient weapon to defeat the devil's offensive. Most impressive of the quotations from the Holy Bible, which Christ made to annihilate the demon's plan, was verse 8, chapter 3, from the book of Deuteronomy that reads, One does not live on bread alone. Scripture taught that man was created by the Lord God after the divine image. By God's image, the Holy Bible means that we are given intelligence, the might power that helps us to know ourselves, to recognize our neighbor, to realize what happens around us, to understand the existence and the meaning of the world and even the existence and the meaning of the universe and finally to know God, our Creator. For as human persons, we have concerns thanks to which we are able to distinguish the good from the evil. We are the unique creatures that enjoy the blessing of freedom in order to act as human persons in accordance with God's commandments. We need food and drink to sustain our life and that of family members. For this, we have to look for a job to work harder and harder. But one does not live on bread alone. So we also need education, information, communication, and cooperation among our fellow men and women for the building of a better society and a true human family where all peoples from all over the world can live together as sisters and brothers. Our efforts in different fields such as culture, economy, politics, and religion should be motivated by a profound sense of love for the human person, a sincere and fervent sense of respect for the dignity and the rights of the human person. Among the rights that are universal, the most important is the rights of freedom of worshiping God. Without the love and respect for the human person, all forms of progress, all forms of civilization, all forms of high-tech and high-standard living conditions become meaningless and useless. One does not live on bread alone is also a strong sentiment on the inviolable, priceless, and divine dignity of the human person which we Christians are urged to do our best to preserve its integrity in a society torn by violence and all forms of abuse, of violation of human dignity and right. And today we witness 
the commitment of our sisters, brothers, who have already started their search for Christian faith. Many things to do in the, in ahead of uh, temptation and uh, also uh, obstacles. We pray for them only with the power of the Almighty and merciful God. All kinds of uh, obstacles can be removed. To be the way for our sisters and brothers to come to Christ and receive the sacrament of Christian initiation this coming Easter first Sunday.